days of semen retention. Let's go, baby. 33, the same number that Jesus died at. He died at 33 years old. And 33 is also big in, in something called Freemasonry. But I don't want to talk too much about that because... You know, you start talking. You start talking about certain topics. You know, YouTube is just—it's just not a free speech platform. And you start exposing certain things, and it's just like you know what I mean. They silence you or whatever. But but basically, I'm going to be talking about religion. This video, uh, theology. This video. So if if you don't want to hear anything about religion or whatever, just click off the video now because that's all this video is about. I'm at 33 days now. I was tempted almost to like go and buy another vape because I'm starting to get a little bit of withdrawals, but I'm just like, nah, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm fighting through this, man. And I said in my last video, I'm gonna hold myself accountable. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna make a video instead. And also I wanted to, to respond to a couple comments because I'm not gonna sit there and type. Why sit there and type and respond when I can just make a video and respond? Because some people just say, some of the stupid stuff and I'm just gonna expose I'm just gonna expose false religions I'm I'm just no let's get into it but also I was once again talking to myself for like 30 minutes should have clicked record but anyways just right off the bat the comments one dude in the last video is so stupid I can't even comprehend how people are this dumb uh, sorry if you're watching it but he literally said in the last video, this comment, it said, um, by you not putting women on a pedestal, you are putting women on a pedestal. <laughs> it's just like, bro, that's got to be one of the dumbest things I've ever heard, bro. It, the comment literally said, by you not putting women on a pedestal, you're still putting women on a pedestal. I was literally just going to comment saying murder is wrong also means you're saying murder is right. Like, dude, what kind of stupid logic is that? If you say don't put women on a pedestal, how on earth is that putting women on a pedestal? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But it's literally like it's one or the other. You're either putting women on a pedestal or you're not. This retard seems to think either one, you're still putting them on a pedestal. I, I, don't, I can't even begin to understand that stupid logic. The only thing I can think is he's like, well, you're still catering to women because you're worried about what the woman thinks. What? No, <laughs> you idiot. I'm saying you don't care about women because you're focused on yourself and you're focused on God. And therefore, a byproduct of focusing on yourself is you don't care about women. And by not caring about women, they tend to care more about you. So I, I don't even, some people are so stupid logic that it's just like, I didn't want to sit there and just say like one sentence, I'll just say a video. Because video, you have more ability to, to explain yourself or whatever. I don't understand that logic at all. It's just it's just stupid. But anyways, there was another comment that I just read. He said, if you didn't care about women so much, why make a video about it? <laughs> because I have a YouTube channel, you retarded idiot. If I have a YouTube channel, guess what? That means I could upload whatever I want. And that means I could touch on any topic I want. And that means you upload content and it's always these people that have no profile picture they have no content on their channel they're just losers that are having a picture of someone else because they're too scared to put their own face on the internet and then they say dumb things like it's very I never hear any of these dumb type of comments in real life even if we're talking about something like you know what I mean it's always just some random comment that's just so dumb that I'm just like, bro, I, I think, can these people actually be that dumb? If you don't care about women, why make a video about them? Bro, because I'm making a video describing what I'm saying in the video. Like, what are you talking about? 
So some people are so stupid that it's like, it blows my mind. But another guy, and this is where the meat of the conversation, we're gonna just shift into religion. I just had to touch on these stupid people right quick. One guy said, don't insult Islam, bro. And my only response to him is, guess what? I don't care what your religion is. If in your religion, it permits pedophilia and child marriage, there's no reality that exists where I'm gonna respect that. And that's the case with Islam. Muhammad married a six year old. He married a six year old and had sex with her when she was nine years old. That is the end of discussion as far as Islam goes. And you have people, they, they argue for that. I've seen a debate. Daniel Hikachabu or Pikachu or whatever this faggot's name is. This pedo faggot. He's literally arguing for child marriage. It's sitting there right there in the debate. You can look it up. There's multiple different Muslims that will literally, they will debate in favor of child marriage. And we're sitting here having a discussion about no insult Islam. I'm not insulting Islam. I'm not respecting pedophilia, which is in Islam. So those are the comments. I just had to address the comments, you know what I mean? And obviously, you know, Everybody's not gonna agree with you. Like every comment's not gonna be a positive supporting comment. Every comment's not gonna be an intellectual, smart, intelligent comment. And I know that, but there's no reason I can't address them. So that's what I'm doing now. We addressed the two idiots that are like, why are you making a video about women if you claim you don't care about them? I, I, that's so stupid that I can't even, I don't even, bro, I'm not gonna touch on that anymore. But as far as the guy, don't insult Islam, my comment, my response to him was gonna be, as soon as y'all stop permitting child marriage, then maybe I'll give some respect towards Islam. But guess what? That's never gonna happen because they can't change their beliefs to fit morality. In reality, they should just leave Islam, too. What is there to debate about? If, dude, and, I, and I've said this before, if someone came along and said, hey, you know what? I know you're Christian. Jesus Christ, he married a six-year-old child and he had sex with her when she was nine years old. Here it is in your book. If they showed me that, and I saw proof in the biblical text, you know what I would say as a regular sane person with common sense and morality? I would say, oh, I'm leaving that religion. I'm no longer a Christian. What on earth did Jesus marry a six-year-old for? But guess what? That didn't happen because Jesus Christ is perfect. In Islam, in their very own books in the Quran and the Hadiths. That's their books. It says very clearly that Muhammad married Aisha at six years old. He consummated the marriage at nine, which means he literally raped the child. And not only that, let me expose this evil, disgraceful person, which they try to say, oh, you're being disrespectful. No, you're being disrespectful to children, you pedophiles. So I'm not gonna sit here and accept any of these Islamic lies. That's all they do is lie. I've dated two Muslims girls. They were the biggest pathological liars ever. They will literally look you straight in your face and lie. That's what Islam's all about. The, lead, the God of Islam, Allah, is literally called the greatest deceiver. 
puts his, it's the greatest liar. So you want me to put my faith and trust in a God who literally in their very own books is called the greatest deceiver. And who Muhammad, their number one prophet, somehow, and I'll get to this in a second, their number one prophet raped a child, murdered people, and owned slaves. This is what happens when you research. This is what happens when you gain knowledge about a topic. You can't be deceived. They have something in Islam called takia, where you can literally lie. You're allowed to lie to ignorant non-believers in order to try and convert them to Islam. That's just, dude, I, it, Islam is just so clearly a false religion. And people just, it's like, if you actually research it, it's obvious. It's not even debatable. I just told you. There's people online, proud Muslims, arguing for child marriage. Defending Muhammad, raping a nine-year-old. And then they have the irony to get mad at these children books in these elementary schools, and these middle schools. I've seen Muslims protest, they're like, hey, don't put these, these uh, sexual children's books in uh, the children's uh, library and stuff. Okay, I could get behind that, I 100% agree. We should not have these sexual books given to children, but guess what? Guess what the irony is? Their very own prophet raped a nine-year-old. A nine-year-old cannot give consent. Are you stupid or retarded or both? A nine-year-old cannot give consent. Don't ever sit here and tell me respect a pedophilic religion. I'm coming at all y'all. And I'm doing this out of truth. I love everyone. I love Muslims, but guess what? I don't love their teachings. I don't respect their teachings because it's of the devil. All false religions are of the devil. There is only one God. There can only be one God. Anybody who says, oh, well, let's just respect all religions and they all have truth to it or whatever. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You cannot have Islam be true and Christianity be true and Buddhism be true or whatever, Buddhism, whatever it's called and Hinduism be true and all these thousands of other religions it's very obvious to anyone who actually knows the truth there is one God which means there's one religion that is correct you cannot have multiple religions being correct that's just, that's an illogical contradiction that's literally like saying, oh, the, the Denver Nuggets won the NBA Finals last year. And somebody else comes along and is like, well, no, I, I think the, I, we believe the Los Angeles Lakers won the Finals. And then somebody else comes along and they're like, oh, no, actually the LA Clippers won. You can't have all that. It's only one truth. There is only one objective truth. You cannot have multiple truths. There is only one objective truth, and that truth is Jesus Christ. So, oh, respect other religions. I don't care about other religions, because they're not true. I mean, what more do you need? Like, dude, the leader of your religion raped a child. That's a wrap. <laughs> like, you know, there's no, I'm not curious about anything else, even though me, I've studied all religions for the last two years. That's all I've been doing is studying religions. So these people can't fool the ignorant. You can't fool the wise. You can't deceive somebody who already has the truth. It's not going to work on somebody like me. And I've witnessed this all the time. They try to do this to Kia. They think I'm an ignorant. They think I'm just, oh, this is just some surfer bro. 
let's convert, convert them to Islam. They don't know I've been studying it the last two years. So that's not gonna work on me. It's not gonna work on Christian Prince who has demolished Islam entirely. It's not gonna work on Sam Shimon. It's not gonna work on David Wood, God Logic. These are some guys that if you watch them with an open mind, not being biased, it's just obvious who has the truth, bro. It's Jesus Christ is the truth, man. And even atheists, there is atheistic scholars. They're atheists or agnostic or whatever. And they even admit that Jesus Christ is real. Jesus Christ walked this earth. It's irrefutable. That's an undeniable fact. If you claim that Jesus Christ is some fairy tale, you're a retarded idiot. And I'm not... I'm not trying to be um, nice in this video. Maybe I'm a little bit like angry because of withdrawals or maybe I'm just, maybe I'm always been like this. I've just been too high all the time. So I'm like, oh, I'm too, I'm not bold. Right now I'm bold. I don't am, you know, I'm on Seber Attention 33 days. I'm getting that power back, Seber Attention if you're smoking weed, you're drinking, it's 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 not the same at all, because I can already tell. I have power, I have boldness. I'll look somebody in the face and tell them, Jesus Christ, it's the truth. I don't care what you think. You don't know the truth. I've studied it. Have you studied it? How long have you studied it? Okay, then don't comment on it, because you're just gonna expose your ignorance. And that's what a lot of people do. They've never studied 10 minutes of something and they act like they know it all. That's the dumbest thing. This ties into atheism. I'm going at everybody, bro. I'm telling you. Because there's only one truth and that truth is Jesus Christ. I just got done saying that. You can't have, oh, Jesus Christ is truth, but also Islam is true, but also atheism is true, but also Hinduism is true. No, there's only one creator. And if you're stupid enough to be atheist, guess what? You're dumber than them all. <laughs> because you literally think everything derived from nothing. There's certain things where it's just like, it's a checkmate, it's, it's, it's a wrap, it's a done deal. You don't need to see anymore. With Islam, the main prophet being a pedophile? That's a wrap, dude. I don't need to... What else are you trying to convince me of? That's a that's a done deal. It's a wrap. There's no convince... There's no persuading me to convert to that false demonic religion that is of Satan because guess who's called the greatest liar, the greatest deceiver in the Bible? It's called Satan. And then in the Quran, Allah is called the greatest deceiver. And then on top of that, it is very obvious that Jesus Christ was crucified. Like I said, even atheists historically just understand that fact. It's, it's a historical fact that Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross. The Muslims come along 600 years later and start talking about some nonsense. Oh, Jesus wasn't crucified. He never died. He went straight to heaven. Um, Allah made it look like he got crucified. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Okay, so you want me to believe the greatest deceiver ever who literally deceived the whole entire world for 600 years until the revelation to Muhammad you want me to believe that uncredible nonsense over the actual eyewitnesses and all the accounts of historical fact that claim that Jesus Christ was crucified. It's documented. It's a historical fact. There's more manuscripts for the New Testament of the Bible than any other ancient literature, which means it's all corroborating the truth it's literally the analogy I just used with the Denver Nuggets. Or let's just go back um, 1993 or whenever Michael Jordan won the finals, right? 
that's corroborated by thousands of people. That's documented. We know history because of documentation and corroboration. The most documented, corroborated, written about, studied about figure in the history of the world is Jesus Christ. The greatest book ever in the history of the world is the Bible. And you have people with the audacity, the ignorance, the arrogance, the pride to sit here and say, Jesus Christ is a fairy tale. No, you're retarded. That's what the truth is. You're an ignorant fool if you don't believe that Jesus Christ walked the earth. Now, if you haven't come to believe in him yet, okay, that's understandable. Like even an agnostic, an agnostic, that's understandable. Their belief is just, I, I don't know what happened in the beginning. I don't know, I don't know, I wasn't there. That's understandable. The atheist, their belief is that they know there's no God. So here's my statement. You cannot be atheist without being a narcissist. What is a narcissist? It's someone who is extremely prideful and arrogant and conceited to where they think they know better than everybody else. With me, I'm no narcissist. I don't claim I know what's right and wrong. I'm just one person. You're just one person. All these narcissistic atheists are just one person. They have their own subjective beliefs. The difference is they think they're right in their own subjective beliefs. Us theists, I don't claim to know right and wrong, my own independent individual. I claim that God knows right from wrong. And in the most corroborated event in history, the crucifixion of Jesus, and then his resurrection where hundreds of eyewitnesses saw him, and then hundreds of thousands of people started converting, even though they were getting persecuted, that's another thing. Who is gonna purposefully die for Santa Claus? <laughs> like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, bro. There's so much stupidity and ignorance around. Okay, so somebody comes knocking on your door and they say, do you, do you believe in Santa Claus? Yes or no? We're gonna kill you if you say yes. Who is saying yes? <laughs> Nobody, because everybody knows Santa Claus isn't real. The people that were walking with Jesus, the people that were looking at him, doing miracles, the people that were literally eyewitnesses, they were saying, yes, kill me, because I know what I saw. They're not gonna get persecuted with death with something they know is false. That's the dumbest thing ever. Like, dude, the eyewitnesses that saw Jesus and got persecuted, they literally would rather die knowing the truth and committing to the truth and having faith in Jesus than lie about it. And, and some of these critics' belief is that, no, they died for something they knew was a lie. Oh my goodness, God, please just help them. Help these ignorant people, man. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. When you really study it, it's just, it's irrefutable, dude. Jesus Christ is God. Revelation 1 8. The beginning and the end, the first and the last, the one who was, the one who is, and the one who is to come. The Almighty. That is Jesus. How could that not be God? Who can claim they are the first and the last? Who? You can't, I can't, Muhammad can't, Buddha can't. Even in the Christian religion, Abraham can't, Moses can't. Only God can make that claim. And then Islam, Muslims say, oh, Jesus never claimed to be God. 
dude, these deceptive liars, man. That's the whole reason he died. That's the whole reason the Jews killed him. Which is another thing they don't want you talking about. Because they say, oh, the Romans killed him because it was a Roman crucifixion. No, read the Bible. Read it before you comment on it and make these ignorant statements. It's very clear. The Romans said, he's, uh, this man is innocent. Why, what? I see no, I see nothing wrong that he's done. What, I see no wrongdoing worthy of death. They said, what shall we do with him? The Jews said, crucify him. So it was the Jews who killed him because they believed that he wasn't God. That's more arrogance and pride right there. They're seeing him doing miracles. They're seeing him fulfilling all these prophecies and they're thinking, oh no, he's, he's just doing magic. He's a sorcerer. He's, he's a blasphemer. That's why he was crucified because he was claiming to be God. And then these Muslims claim, oh, Jesus never claimed to be God. Revelation 1, 8, you're done. Get out of here. The Almighty. What does the Almighty mean? You're all powerful. Who's all powerful? God, <laughs> dude, oh my, that's just, man, dude. It, it blows my mind, dude, it blows my mind. The Muslims literally say, God, Jesus never claimed to be God. Revelation 1.8, checkmate, you're done. But I'll continue anyway for context. The Almighty, that is what Jesus says in Revelation 1.8. You know who else is called the Almighty? <laughs> Take a wild guess. Allah in the Quran, dude. Allah literally is called the Almighty in the Quran. Jesus claims to be the Almighty. He says he is the Almighty. And then they have this, this just deceptive claim that Jesus never claimed to be God. No, you're a liar or you're just ignorant and you haven't done the research. That's the truth of the matter. Of course, Jesus claimed to be God. That's the whole reason he died. But enough with Islam. Islam is the false, most false religion ever. The woman can't even drive. They're allowed to beat their wife. Surah 434. I told you, I'm coming with the facts. You ignorant clowns can say all these dumb statements all you want. I'm coming with the facts. If you don't have facts and research, keep your ignorant mouth shut because you're going to get exposed for the fool that you are. Jesus Christ is King. Jesus Christ is Lord. And let me go at the atheist for a little bit. Because the atheist, like I was saying, you can't be an atheist without being a narcissist. Because the atheist belief, like I said, agnostic is more, it's more respectable, it's more understandable. They just claim, ah, I don't know. Well, then research, idiot. The atheist, on the other hand, they claim they know there's no God. While simultaneously having the dumbest most illogical belief ever, which is that everything came from nothing. <laughs> oh, how did the devil deceive all you people, man? How did he do it? He really said, he really convinced all these people just because some dorky Freemason scientists come along and say, oh, uh, the Big Bang happened, and um, that's how the universe started. Okay, blah, blah, blah. What happened before that? Um, well, there was, there, was, there was once nothing, and then, and then uh, a magic trick happened, and the Big Bang happened, and everything happened. Dude, there is nobody more stupid than atheists, bro. I'm sorry. I love you. I love all people. Don't take this, this passion and this... this this um, boldness, don't take it as hate. I don't hate Muslims. I don't hate atheists. I just think y'all are dumb, dude. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, like that's not hateful to think somebody's dumb. That just means, like, you're dumb. Like, your logic for atheists, for Muslims, it's like, all right. You're, 
you're a pedophile supporting religion. Like, there's nothing to really debate there. Like, it's, you're, you're not credible, period. Sorry. Convert to the truth. Like, what are you sitting there? You would rather support a pedophile just because your parents raised you Muslim or something? Convert to the truth. Study it. Have an unbiased perspective and look at the historical facts. Of course, Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross. That's a historical fact. You're trying to deny it. Not only you're trying to deny it, you're falling for Allah, aka Satan's deception. He literally deceived the whole entire world. So when Jesus died on the cross, which they claim he didn't, they claim he replaced somebody at the last second. Okay, so why did he lie to the whole entire world for 600 years? So he just, he literally, because 600 years later is when that revelation came to Muhammad. That's when the revelation came. It's, oh, actually, Jesus, Esau, uh, he didn't die on the cross. So why did you lie to the whole entire world for 600 years? Oh, wait, because you're the greatest deceiver ever. That's why, a.k.a. Satan. All false religions are of Satan, period. Now let's get back to the atheist retards. They claim that zero plus zero is one. That's really what they claim. Like zero plus zero, eventually because some magic trick happened, eventually zero plus zero equals one. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. And then they have these dorky scientists they're like, oh, I'm super smart in this field. It doesn't matter how smart you are in one field. That's irrelevant. That doesn't mean you have the truth. You know everything. That's why, why they're narcissists. They claim to know there's no God. You can't know that. And on top of it, it's illogical. It's the dumbest logic ever. There is no logical explanation for nothing turning into everything that hurts my brain even trying to think that it's the dumbest logic ever it's not even logic it's just illogical zero plus zero equals one that's what atheists believe now that's an analogy with mathematics within mathematics zero means nothing so zero plus zero it, it's it's always going to equal zero it's always going to be nothing but it's, it's actually even a step further with atheists because zero plus zero, that's still numbers. That's still addition. That's still something. Zero, that's still a number. It's zero plus zero. But within mathematics, that's equivalent to nothing. So zero plus zero, nothing plus nothing can never equal one, two, three, can never equal something. But the atheist, it's even worse. Because even zero plus zero is actually technically something. It's mathematics. The atheists believe literally nothing. There used to be nothing before the universe. And then the universe magically was formed out of nothing. So everything came from nothing. <laughs> and we're sitting here having discussions as if they're reputable or, or anything. This is insanity. Jesus Christ is King. Jesus Christ is Lord. God created the universe. The first and last, which is God. The beginning, which is Jesus. Jesus is God. He was in the beginning. He created the universe. And with the atheists, with this paradox they have, we don't have that paradox. <laughs> we don't believe there was ever nothing because that's the most dumb, illogical thing ever. Just because scientists say it and you learn it in school doesn't mean it's true. And you ever wonder, okay, the history of the world that's taught in public schools as Big Bang garbage. Okay. <laughs> public schools are also free. 
private schools, which is teaching the same exact thing, which is historical knowledge, they just have a different belief, a different perspective, a different belief, you gotta pay to go to that school. You ever wonder why that is? So the knowledge that is taught in the publicly free available school where everybody's forced to go, remember, public school, you have to go to school. You're not allowed to not go to school. You have to go to school. So with majority of people having to go to school, which where do they go? A lot of times they're going to go to public school. They can't afford private school even if they want to go. So they're forced to learn this Big Bang garbage. But guess what? That's just a theory from some random Freemason scientist that came up with that garbage. And guess what? <laughs> just because a majority is taught something doesn't mean it's true. The truth is the truth. Regardless of what is taught the truth there's only one truth there's only one timeline of history like i said there's only one team that won the nba finals every year if you think somebody else won the final or oh but hear me out here's my position of why we think these people didn't win the nba finals that doesn't change the fact of the historical timeline the historical timeline is what it is regardless of what your opinions on it is. So we're gonna find out when we all die who was true and who was right. I believe I'm obviously right because Jesus Christ being God, walked this earth, performed miracles, which is all documented, died on the cross and rose again. So it, it's, if you wanna go with this atheistic nothingness or you wanna go with this pedophile, Go ahead. I'm not forcing my religion on you. I'm just giving my perspective. I'm exposing falsehoods. And I'm exposing the truth. The truth is that if you think everything came from nothing, you're the one being illogical, not me. It's completely logical. It's completely intelligent to be like, oh, God, an all-powerful being created everything. And then with atheists, with the paradox of, okay, well, how did the Big Bang start? What created that? And what about before that and that and that? We don't have that problem <laughs> because God is everlasting. God didn't have a beginning. So there's no paradox on who, how did, where did God, when did God begin? He didn't. He's everlasting. That's what everlasting means. It's eternal. He's infinite. There was no beginning for God. Was there a beginning for the universe? Yes. And the atheists even had to admit that. They changed the position all the time, but now it's 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 the position is that there was once nothing, the universe had a beginning. Obviously, before the beginning, that means nothing. But nothingness can't exist. It's it's completely illogical. And just because many people have been fooled into believing this nonsense, again, it doesn't make it true. Just use your basic logic, people. There can never have been nothing. Because if there was ever true nothingness, there would never be something. Because something cannot derive from nothing. Like, the fact that people even have debates over this blows my mind. And they start having all these other, oh, well, what this theory, and they start going off on all this. They just try and sound smart. They use a bunch of word salads and, oh, I have this degree in scientific, uh, astro like this, this clown faggot, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's like, oh, he's a genius. He's super smart in this field astrology or, or whatever it's in, um, astrophysics or whatever. Oh, he's really smart in that field. Does that mean he's smart overall? No, because this man literally said you could wake up and be whichever gender you choose. That's how delusional and stupid he is. Oh, if I wake up 
if if I wake up and I uh, and I have a dress, then uh, that means that means I'm a girl because I woke up and I felt like wearing a dress, and um, like I felt like a girl that day. Therefore, I am one, dude. That is objectively retarded. I'm sorry, man. I gotta call a spade a spade. If you think you can change your gender, you're objectively delusional and retarded, period. That's what this idiot thinks. <laughs> and people are like, oh, so we can trust scientists. You know, scientists that are funded by certain people. So if scientists are funded by people, do you think, what do you think? Do you think there's gonna be a bias there or anything? I mean, come on, man. Wake up to the truth. Zero plus zero can't equal one. That's illogical. But then they'll go a step further and they'll say, okay, nothing and nothing, nothing plus nothing uh, can equal something. <laughs> God always existed. He always will exist. God created the universe. That is the fact. I went at everybody. This video, this was more, not really, I'm trying to be more positive and I'm trying to be like, I'm trying to keep it positive and loving, but you know, I'm a diverse type of person. Like sometimes I might have a video that's just like, oh, zero attention, yeah, girls. Like my last video about women, whatever. And I'm not pissed off at these people that just write stupid comments. I'm literally just, I'm like, I'm mind blown at the level of stupidity that some people possess, dude. It's literally just like, like it blows my mind, dude, how people just think, oh, you can switch genders. No, you, you can't. <laughs> you can never switch your gender, ever. If you think you're something you're not, that's a mental problem. That's, that's not a physical problem. If you think nothing can turn into everything that's also a mental problem because <laughs> that's you're deceived by Satan and you're not going to hear this in the mainstream because they don't even bring up a lot of spiritual truth in the mainstream but that's really what it all comes down to it's it's spiritual it's all spiritual and that being said it, it's only there can only be one God and then there's the opposite, which is Satan, the devil. If you have one religion, which is really just a relationship with Christ, you have a relate. That's another difference between Christianity and all the other religions. One, they said to love your enemy. That's why I love everybody. Is the Jesus taught to love your enemy? No other religion, no other ideology ever said that. Jesus was the foundation of that belief. To love your enemy. Nobody said that. He said that. And Christianity is also the only religion where it's it's really not a religion. Religion is like practices. Muslims, like, they don't even know if they're going to heaven, dude. It's like, like you could kill somebody. Cold-blooded murder. And then just be like, yeah, but God, but but look how much I gave to the homeless. <laughs> and they're just like, oh, the good deeds outweigh the bad. There's no true justice. All other religions, it's, it's like a you have to do all these practices. With Christianity, you literally just have to believe in Jesus Christ. And in doing so, you will want to honor God by doing good works. It is not your good works that take you to heaven. That's another, let me just go at false Christians also. I'm going at all these false ideologies. Let me go at these false her heretical Christians also. They say, oh, you must be sinless to be saved. That's another example of narcissism. That's another example of pride and arrogance because no one is sinless except Jesus. No Christian is perfect. I'm not perfect at all. I'm trying to get closer to Christ every day. Am I going to make mistakes along the way? Am I going to slip up? 
absolutely. That's called being human. We're in the flesh. Even if you have the soul of God in you, which is the Holy Spirit, you have the Holy Spirit in you. You're still going to sin because you're in the flesh body. So a lot of these false preachers, they claim works-based salvation, where you have to work for your salvation. That's false because the Bible says very clearly, no one is without sin. If one claims to be without sin, they are deceived and the truth is not in them. Jesus is the only sinless person. That's why his sacrifice on the cross was so significant. And here's, here's, this is getting long, I don't care. In Islam, this is gonna blow your mind. If all the stuff I've been saying about Islam hasn't blown your mind already. Even in Islam, I'm not talking about in Christianity, in Islam, Jesus is perfect, dude! Just convert, come on. Well, well come on, man, come on. Get out of that false religion. I declare you to get out of that false religion in the name of Jesus Christ. Come over. I mean, dude, he's perfect even in Islam, in their very own religion. Jesus is miles better than Muhammad. You got a pedophile, rapist, murderer, slave owner versus a perfect person, sinless, in the Bible or in the Quran. The Hadith in, in the Islam religion, they believe Jesus is perfect, sinless, the only person ever. I mean, it's like, dude, what, what on earth, what are you thinking if you're not believing in Jesus? Every religion respects Jesus. Why? Because he's the most best person ever. It's not even close. No one comes close to Jesus. And no one can refute his teachings because they're perfect. Why? Because Jesus is perfect. So just to wrap this up, I, I'm just, maybe I'm on with Jaws right now. Dude. Like, cause I'm like, dude, maybe I've always been this, like this adamant and aggressive and bold. I just had been smoking so much that I was more chill. And I was like, oh yeah, like, like, oh, let's just, you know, like, Let's just let them do their thing over there and let me just let me just chill out, man. Let me just be like chill or whatever. Enough of that. I'm starting to be bold, baby. I'm starting to be bold. I told you I welcome all smoke. I welcome all criticism. Because you can really just help prove me right. If you try and make threats or if you try and be um whatever try to make personal tax or whatever, you're just going to prove me correct even more. If you want to do that, go right ahead. I'm open to it. I'm open to discussion. I'm open to debate. I'm only going to get smarter as time goes on. I'm just now sobering up. This is like, I'm operating at 8 to 12% of capacity of how great a debater I'm going to be. There's going to be a day where... I'm going to be one of the greatest debaters ever. I'm just like, th that's, forget about money, forget about woman, forget about all that. I want to be one of the greatest intellectual debaters ever. Because I'm already like, dude, there's no, like, dude, it's irrefutable of how dumb atheism is. It's, it's a never ending paradox. Oh, I'd even get to morality. That's another reason they're narcissistic. Not only are they narcissistic because they claim to know for a fact, there is no God, and they claim to know what happened supposedly billions of years ago. So it's just narcissistic arrogance. They also claim to know right from wrong. They're like, dude, I just told you earlier, like, I don't claim to know right from wrong. I claim that God knows right from wrong, and I therefore follow what is right, and I expose and call out what is wrong. Like this, a lot of this video. The atheists literally, they think they just know what's right and wrong. That's not possible for you or I or any of these ignorant narcissistic atheists to know 
what morality is. You can't know the standard of morality on your own. You have to go to God. You have to go to an all-powerful being who is moral, who created morality, who created everything. So your narcissistic perspective is, oh, I know more than God, and I know what's right from wrong, and God was wrong when he did that. Dude, how is that not arrogance and pride and narcissism? Of course it is. That's the exact definition. They claim to know what's right and wrong. One independent, random human, an atheist, they know what's right and wrong. Even though atheists have killed the most people ever in the world. Look at Stalin, look at Hitler, look at Mao, look at all these atheistic murderers. Then look at the Christians. The Christians aren't murderers. We are the victims. We are the protagonists in this life. And people bring up, oh, the Crusades. Why don't you read a book and actually gain some knowledge before speaking ignorance? The Christian Crusades. Don't believe everything I say, like everything I've been saying in this video. Do the research yourself and fact check. That's why I'm so confident what I'm saying. I've already done the research. I've studied the scholars. I've studied the experts. So some little dork in the comments, you're not going to be able to convince me. You're not relevant. The best of the best in each field is what's relevant. And that's all I study. So therefore, my opinions, my beliefs are all basically based in objectivity. They're based in research. So go and go and study it. The, the Christian crusades were in response, in response, self-defense, response to guess who? You're not gonna, you're not gonna believe it. Take a wild guess. The religion of peace, Islam. <laughs> the Muslim crusades, there was Muslim crusades. They were going around invading territories, raping women like they do currently to this day, killing people, forcing them to convert to Islam or die. And after a while, the Christians just had enough. They said, enough of this. Dos volts, or whatever that phrase is called. They said, let's retaliate to these evil people. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of having my villages torn up and invaded by these violent people with a false religion. So they responded with the Christian Crusades. Read a history book, you know, and actually do your own independent research. Don't just rely on your school. What did you learn from school? Your little public school, the public schools are a joke. They're teaching that men and women are interchangeable now. And you're gonna rely on them? You're gonna consider the public school system credible? It's a propaganda machine. It's designed to make you a slave and keep you a slave to the system. It's designed to manipulate you and brainwash you into believing their version of history, which is atheistic evolution, big bang nonsense. And then they put a price tag and a, like a barrier to entry on the actual truth, the actual real knowledge of the history of the world, which is that God created everything. I mean, it's, it's so obvious once you actually look into it. But like I said, just study if you got this far, this is a long video. Some people are like, oh, I like longer videos. This one, I'm just sober and I'm going at it. <laughs> but don't get it twisted. I do love, I do love Muslims. I just wish they would come to the truth. Like, I, like I, if I'm talking to a Muslim, I'm just like, hey, come to the truth. I'll give them a nice hug and say, hey, welcome to Christ. Welcome to the truth. An atheist... I love an atheist. That doesn't mean I think they're right. It doesn't mean anything. I think they don't have dumb beliefs that like nothing can turn into everything and nothing randomness can turn into all this intelligence. There's that's also another thing they don't have a single example of 
There's not a single example of intelligence deriving from unintelligence. That itself is unintelligent. <laughs> it's unintelligent to believe. That's just not even to have beliefs. You have to have like design. Like you're not going to have all these thoughts. You're not going to have the human brain. You're not going to have the DNA. You're not going to have all this out of random nothingness. And even if you did, then nothing matters anyway. <laughs> like, because it's all just random evolution <laughs> and nothing really truly matters. It's just, it's all a, a facade. It's all a, it's all a sham. It's all a scam. So, this title, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna title this 33 Days of Seamer Attention. So, if you came for Seamer Attention, guess what? It's time to up your intellect because at the end of the day, if you're just wanting, oh, I just wanted to hear about Seamer Attention, the little fluid in the penis that goes out and you just retain it and keep the fluid in your penis. Like, bro, come on, up your intellect. We gotta talk about deeper, more intellectual conversations. I can't just sit here and talk about, okay, the fluid that's in your penis, just hold it in and you're gonna get powers. <laughs> like, dude, if you have a problem with uh, theological, religious, deep intellectual discussion, like I said in the beginning, you could have just clicked off a long time ago. But, but yeah, I discuss everything on this channel. I had to touch on a, a couple of these comments anyone i just want to say at just to wrap this off anyone i'm being very like aggressive and whatever so if i did come across as like being mean to you i do apologize if some of those comments if if you're a subscriber or whatever if you want to unsubscribe go right ahead i couldn't care less but i just want to let you know i do love you i just want the truth that's what this video is about I'm not trying to be negative. I'm not trying to start fights and all this. I'm not trying to like push away people. I'm literally just trying to be the most honest, authentic, genuine person who's spitting the facts, the real truth. And I do apologize if I called you a, a, a retard or a mean name or anything like that. For all, any of those of you who do support me, I really appreciate it. I really do appreciate the comments. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate you watching this channel. This may just be a one-off. Like this, this is almost an hour. I might just upload this and go right back to more like, you know, less controversial videos and topics talked about. But at the end of the day, it's like, I can't just sit here and say like, keep the semen in your penis. Like dude, there's, there's only so much you could talk about with semen retention. I'm moving this channel more towards a Christian content type of channel. And once again, I'm a sinner. So you may be like, oh, he's like yelling and he's being all along. Blah, blah. I'm not Jesus. I don't claim to be. I'm trying to be. But I'm a sinner. That's why I need a savior. That's why I need Jesus. I am not perfect. And I do apologize if I hurt anyone's feelings. I do apologize if somebody felt disrespected. But I'm clarifying right now. I mean no disrespect. I simply cannot respect a pedophilic religion. I can't. Dude, I cannot, I cannot respect a religion where the leader of the religion married a six-year-old and raped her at nine. I can't. I'm sorry. You shouldn't either. The obvious common sense position is that you just need to convert out of the falsehood and come to the truth. Atheism, they have no ju uh, justification for anything. They have no justification for anything. They have no purpose of anything. They have no meaning behind anything. They have no morality. Like literally, there is no such thing as morality under an atheistic perspective and worldview it's not possible because you could say oh uh murder is wrong and i could be like no it's not <laughs> they're like who's right and then you could say 
oh, well, we all agree that it's right. And I could just be like, oh, cool. Well, we all agree it's not. It's just he said, she said. You cannot have morality under an atheistic worldview. You have to have an objective standard of morality. Otherwise, it's just everybody's opinion against other people's opinion. I'm gonna just wrap this up, it's an hour. I feel like I'm a genius. Maybe I'm narcissist. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm just joking. But I feel like, I'm, I don't think I'm like a crazy genius, but compared to smoking all the time, like this is my first time. Today, didn't smoke. Yesterday, didn't smoke. The day before, I think that was my last time smoking. So I'm almost like three days sober and I already feel like a genius, dude. I couldn't say all this and articulate myself like I did this whole video when I was smoking. I would have just forgot what I was saying mid-sentence and stuff. So it was obvious the devil was trying to hold me back with that weed crap because I feel like I have the truth because I'm spitting the truth, which is correlated with Jesus Christ. And I can help bring the truth to a lot of people of course if they don't delete this video or censor this video or whatever YouTube is very uh, censorship I mean they delete my comments about Jesus all the time so it's very they're very clearly demonic themselves but but yeah um, this is I don't even know how to end this dude because I'm just like I, I don't want people to be all angry I just want people to understand my only intentions of this video was for truth and just speaking my mind. If I find a comment dumb, I'm just, I'm gonna call you out. I'm gonna say it's dumb. It is what it is. You can think what I'm saying is dumb. That's the beauty of life. We can all have our own beliefs, but there is only one truth. Regardless of all our beliefs, there is only one truth. There is only one objective historical timeline that is true. And I believe it's pretty obvious within this timeline, Jesus came, walked this earth, got crucified, rose again, and made it possible for us all to be saved. Because if he didn't come, all of us would be guilty because we're all sinners and we've all done wrong. Jesus, even according to Islam, was the only person ever who did no wrong. He was sinless, he was perfect. So why on earth would you not follow him? 33 days. Now I'm just dedicating this whole video to Jesus because Jesus died at 33 years old. I'm on 33 days of sea retention. I'm also almost three days sober. So I'm just gonna keep it going. God bless you all. Don't get it twisted. I love everyone. I just want people to come to the truth and love of Jesus Christ. And sometimes it's just, it gets irri irri uh, irritating and it gets aggravating when there's just so much lies and falsehoods spread out in this world. When in reality, it's just, we just need Jesus. Jesus is the truth, period. See you guys later in the next video when I'm talking about a totally unrelated topic to this one and hopefully going back to positive. I don't want no beef, but A, if you're going to be confident in falsehood or confident in stupid things, I'm just going to combat you with confidence in the truth, which is Jesus Christ. Goodbye.